the United States can do whatever the hell it wants, and that's official. Way back in 1988, on the 3rd of July, the USS Vincennes, a missile cruiser stationed in the Persian Gulf, accidentally shot down an Iranian airliner and killed 290 civilian passengers. George Bush I, who was at the time on his presidential campaign, was asked to comment on the incident. He said, quite subtly, I will never apologize for the United States. I don't care what the facts are. I don't care what the facts are. What a perfect maxim for the new American empire. Perhaps a slight variation on the theme would be more apposite. The facts can be whatever we want them to be. When the United States invaded Iraq, a New York Times CBS News survey estimated that 42% of the American public believed that Saddam Hussein was directly responsible for the September 11th attacks on the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. And an ABC News poll said that 55% of Americans believed that Saddam Hussein directly supported Al-Qaeda. None of this opinion is based on evidence because there isn't any. All of it is based on insinuation, auto-suggestion, and outright lies circulated by the U.S. corporate media, otherwise known as the free press, that hollow pillar on which contemporary American democracy rests. <clears throat> Public support in the U.S. for the war against Iraq was founded on a multi-tiered edifice of falsehood and deceit coordinated by the U.S. government and faithfully amplified by the corporate media. Apart from the invented links between Iraq and Al-Qaeda, we had the manufactured frenzy about Iraq's weapons of mass destruction. George Bush, the lesser, went to the extent went to the extent of saying it would be suicidal for Iraq, for the U.S. not to attack Iraq. We once again witnessed the paranoia that a starved, bombed, besieged country was about to annihilate almighty America. Iraq was only the latest in a succession of countries. Earlier there was Cuba, Nicaragua, Libya, Granada, Panama. But this time, it wasn't just your ordinary brand of friendly neighborhood frenzy. It was frenzy with a purpose. It ushered in an old doctrine in a new bottle, the doctrine of preemptive strike, also known as the United States can do whatever the hell it wants, and that's official.